What's going on? Just here taking a little Saturday drive up to Glockmeister down in Phoenix, Arizona. Been on the highway now for about an hour. But um decided to come down here. Take a look at the shop, see if they had any new things. Maybe check out the uh, some of the Generation 4 pistols. Um, yeah, just really, you know, spending a Saturday afternoon doing my hobby. Fill you guys in if I uh, if I purchase anything or when I get there, I'll show you the place. I know everybody knows Glockmeister, so I'm one of the lucky ones who's able to actually go to their shop. Been on the road for a while now, but finally here. Gonna go check out the infamous Glockmeister store. That's it guys, walked in with a Glock 23 and walked out same day. I just wanna, I'm going right from here to the range since um, Glockmeister is right next to Caswell's. Might as well put this bad boy to use. Just wanna show you guys real quick. You get all the standard stuff with it. But the thing about the Gen 4 You get three magazines. One, two, three. You get your back straps, spent casing, here's my paperwork. And that's it. And there's the butte. Alright, gonna go test her out. Talk to you guys later. Alright guys, here we go. First time shooting the Glock 23 generation. Generation 4. Open this up for you guys here. And I did the quick open view. I have a red, I just shot this, as you saw. Um, with the Glock 23 to Generation 4, you get the multiple bat straps, you get the extra pin, and you got this little tool here. Let's open this up. So you get the back straps. What I'm going to say is this is the standard back strap, and this would have to be the large back strap. So you get these two. They come with this little tool. Now I'll tell you what this is going to get used for. This is going to get used for my 1911 when I dis uh, disassemble it or I'm giving it a good cleaning, changing the trigger or anything. So that, that's going to get a lot of use. Then you get this, I guess it's an extra pin, the locking pin in there. So you get that stuff. And you get your, uh, you know, your your lock. I, I use these. People just throw them away. I, I do use them. Um, beautiful. I mean, uh, I think these go for retail about five twenty five. You know, I, I did a trade in, so, you know, I'm not going to say what I got it for. But these come with three magazines which is 
the uh, it's a great thing about it, right? So here you have the Glock 23 Generation 4. Take a quick look at that. See if we can get it here. There you go. Sexy. Yeah, ain't it? Just perfect. Nothing different. Except this, which is the dual guide rod. Safe. It's a little, th a little different than their normal guide rod. Strong. Um, tell you the truth, I will be picking up Glockmeister. They make their own tungsten uh, guide rod assembly that is similar to the Generation Three. The biggest thing about now Generation Four to Generation Three quickly is you have the smaller frame. I think they cut it by two millimeters. And if you want to get the the Generation Three back. Put that on. I guess go something like that. I'll figure that out. So now you're generation three. Then you got the huge one, which would make if somebody had a big hand. This is perfect for me. It is a perfect fit. And this is the main reason why I got this one. You have the reversible mag release the enlarged reversible mag release they cut that down everything else is pretty much the same there you can kinda see the uh, a little dark let's bring it out for you everything is the same about it comes out the same like it still even has all that factory copper on it. I didn't even bring it. Usually I'll bring them home and clean them. And here's your dual um, dual guide rod spring assembly. Similar to the smaller models, you know, like the uh, Glock 27. I think that's all they did was made it bigger. And then you see here that this is much bigger than your Generation 3. I did a review on the Generation 3. Um, check it out. But that's it. I mean, that's the thing. As you can see, without cleaning it, just taking it straight from the store to the range, I had no problems with it. I'm going to change these out with some night sights, get my extended mag release back. But, man, it's worth it. I would say if you ever if you ever felt uncomfortable, with, if you have a Glock 23 and you felt uncomfortable with the, the holding it, get yourself a, a Glock 24. Um, you will be amazed how much of a difference two millimeters makes and it just feels better might not be for everybody but for me and my hands feels perfect oh yeah I forgot one thing I was going to tell you guys the good thing about the the Glock 23 generation 4 you can use your old magazines you can't use the new magazines on the old mag on the uh, generation 3 but you can use the generation 3 on the generation 4 and the best part you don't have to go out there and purchase um, a bunch of brand new holsters. Here's my, this was my holster for my Glock 23. Generation 4 is perfect. And again here I have a DeSantis tuck this too. This was, I used this with my Generation 3. Perfect fit. Alright guys, later.